Welcome to uh, Barrett's Mill in Shropshire. This is the site of the Evergreen Gas um, pilot prototype anaerobic digester, small scale, which we're using to test a new concept of anaerobic digestion, which is the below ground pub plug flow digestion compared with continuous stir tank reactor. And here we're able to use this site for both for experimenting with different types of feedstock and also with different types of energy utilisation. So if we start with the the site. This is, the, this is, this is our, well, our reception hall, which is where we, we receive feedstocks for the digester. The feedstocks are principally farm feedstocks, manures and uh, grass silage and maize silage, as well as poultry manure. And we also, from all the site here, all the grass cuttings from this place here, they all go through the, uh, through the biogas plant. The first stage of the process is um, an auger feeder with a hopper on top. So the forklift picks up the plastic box, lifts it up and then spins it 280 degrees, which tips the contents into the auger feeder hopper. And then from there, there's a screw, a big screw, which goes gently down into the digester. So the feedstock, the semi-solid feedstock, is not pre-treated, it's simply just fed straight into the, into the digester. So then if we move outside, we're able to have this sort of feed mechanism because what we have here is two novel concepts the first is, is the fact that it's below ground, which is unusual in the AD world at the moment. And the second one is it's a plug flow. Rather than being a cylindrical tank where the, it's, everything is mixed up and you're feeding and you're taking out, this plant here is a plug flow. So you, the feedstock comes in at that end and it flows gently down through the digester and it comes out the other end. And um, we have, so what you see there is a membrane roof to collect the biogas with a larger biogas storage at the back so that we can got more flexibility for experimenting with different sorts of energy utilisation. The digester is heated up to a temperature of 40 degrees by internal heat exchangers and it's mixed by gas recirculation. It's not, so we have, there's no mechanical mixes and no moving parts within the digester. So within the digester, because the digestion process actually liquefies the material because you're digesting the solids, we're only able to take the material from a digester through a pump. And so that, that, that the macerator there is connected straight through to the digester and it simply macerates the material through a pump and then into a screw press. So we then have a screw press which separates the digestate into a nice compost-like nutrient-rich soil fertiliser, soil conditioner and also a liquid, liquid digestate. So that is, that is the flow of the material. There are three other forms of energy, energy utilisation here with our experiments. The first is that there's a pipeline here and that just fuels the arga in the arga cooker in the house. That's number one. And the number two is we have a small engine, which is a little Suzuki CHP unit for producing electricity from the, uh, from, from, from the, from the biogas. And that's seven kilowatts, it's tiny, yeah. Thirdly, we have a, a, a biogas boiler um, which is used to, to raise hot water from the biogas. Oh, thanks, Michael. Um, so now that we've looked at BMADs and where the biogas comes from, we're just going to talk a little bit about where, uh, where, uh, how the biogas is turned into vehicle fuel. So the biogas is compressed and it comes into the uh, comes into this column here uh, and then there's a flow of water that comes from the top of the column and then the uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide dissolve into the water and then the uh, cleaned up gas goes off to be compressed. Uh, from the compressor it either goes into storage bottles or directly into a vehicle for using at a later date. The water which contains the carbon dioxide and the hydrogen sulfides passes into the top of the flash column where it's partially depressurized and any methane that has dissolved into the water uh, is recycled to the beginning of the process. The water then goes to the desorption column where uh, it desorbs from the water and then is released to atmosphere, leaving a flow of water which is recycled back to the beginning of the upgrading process. And the important thing about this biogas upgrader is the scale. It has an inlet flow rate of 10 cubic meters per hour of biogas and that is enough gas to produce vehicle fuel to take one of our caddies 
approximately 900 miles in a 24-hour period.